Well, lights up in the sky aren't really that unusual around the new year. However, some Cleveland residents say they saw something more than your typical firework display. Eyewitness 2's reporter Katie McCall joins us live with the story, all new at 6. Katie? Gina, a Cleveland woman who says she has never before spotted a UFO swears that she saw one hovering in the trees right over US 59. Now, a UFO investigator is looking into whether this was a plane, a helicopter, or something from out of this world. Just there, like, you know, this. On December 30th, Lauren Harris was on Highway 59 in Cleveland when a brightly lit cylinder hovering in the sky caused her to pull over. Strange, like the lights were pulsating on it and it would disappear for a few seconds and reappear in the same spot. And then we noticed too that it wasn't moving at all. So we're like, no, that can't be an airplane. And what would a helicopter be doing this late at night over the, over the woods? I think it was a UFO. The nursing student says she tried to document the encounter. I phone up like this and I tried taking a picture of it and then I put it back down and it was gone. But never expected to be taken area. seriously. To her surprise, Fletcher Gray from MUFON, the mutual UFO network, is investigating. I have verified over 345 cases. Gray looks into reports of extraterrestrial vehicles, alien encounters, and aircraft modeled after alien vehicles not acknowledged by the government. This was verified by two independent witnesses, this is a UFO because we don't know if it's blown extraterrestrial or if it's one of our own. Here's a lady that uh, supposedly had, had a transplant where she'd been abducted. These uh, ETs or extraterrestrials are moving from one star system to the next. Gray believes a Cleveland police officer saw the same thing Harris did, and he's trying to obtain dash cam video. He's also looking into this reported sighting in Houston. His message to UFO observers, don't be afraid to speak up. Always con contact MUFON and to, to, to make their reporting their sightings uh, as long as they're credible. The police chief in Cleveland tells me he is not aware of any such sighting or dash cam video within the department. Gray says that is very common in his line of work and it will not stop his investigation. We're live in Cleveland, Katie McCall, 13 Eyewitness News. So we would like to know what you think about this investigation. Log on to our Facebook page and join the conversation. And if you saw one of those unexplained lights, well, why don't you share your photos with eyewitness reports? Just email them to news at abc13.com.